Hey everybody, it's Miss Jessica from the Tech at Lowell Branch Library, here to share another STEM activity with you today. Today we're going to be making something called a thaumatrope. A long time ago, this was actually a very popular toy, and it was like a cartoon before there was even TV to watch cartoons on. What you're going to need to make your thaumatrope is two circles, about two inches in diameter, and these need to be cut out of a thicker paper, like a cardstock, two rubber bands, a glue stick, some markers or some crowns, just something to decorate with, and a hole punch. Like with all of our other STEM activities, there will be kits available that you can call and request through our curbside pickup service here at the Tech at Lowell Library. That will include two circles and two rubber bands to help get you started, but of course you can always use your own materials at home as well. What you're going to want to do once your circles are cut out and ready is to draw a picture on each circle. Now a thaumatrope works best when you draw two pieces of one picture. I drew a bowl and a fish. So the fish goes in the bowl in the picture. You could draw a moon on one side and some stars on the other to make the night sky, or you could draw a vase and some flowers that go inside the vase. Once your pictures are drawn, glue the circles together so that each picture is on one side and make sure the tops of the pictures face the same direction. And then you're going to take your hole punch and punch a hole in each side. Once your holes are punched, go ahead and take one end of one of your rubber bands and thread it through one of the holes on your circles and then take the other end and loop it through itself and tighten it up so that it's attached just like that. And go ahead and take your other rubber band and do the same thing on the other side. So now your thaumatrope should look like this. To get your thaumatrope to work, all you have to do is take your thaumatrope just like this and twist your fingers back and forth. Now, as you're going slow, not much is happening, but spin it as fast as you can. And what you should start to notice is that it'll look like the two pictures are blending together into one picture. The pictures blend together because of the way our brains are processing the movement as we're seeing it. Our brains help us process movement that we see by blending the movements together so that when we see someone walking across the room, we see it in a nice, smooth, continuous motion. Another way to show this is by again taking your thaumatrope and spinning it, but this time as you watch it, blink your eyes as fast as you can while you watch it. What you should see is that instead of the images blending together and looking like one image, they'll look more separate this time. That's because as you're blinking, your brain doesn't have enough time to process the quick movements of the circle in between your blinks rather than when your eyes are open and it can process everything together and blend it together. Don't forget, if you would like a kit with some circles and some rubber bands to get you started in making a thaumatrope, give us a call here at the Tech at Lowell Branch Library to request one for pickup through our curbside pickup service. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and be on the lookout for more fun STEM activities to come.